All right. I'm here to talk to you about Godzilla minus one. I would say I'd have the Blu-ray, but it doesn't currently exist at the moment. So here is my phone. Hold me a hold him up my phone with the movie. It is there. Uh, it's not going to rotate, is it? Nope, but that's the film. So, yeah. Godzilla minus one. Is the... L oh, oh, no, it's not the latest Godzilla film, is it? It's the latest one from Japan. There we go. Um, Because now there's the new Godzilla vs. Godzilla Kong film. I need to get to the, that one. I'll get to it. I, I want to go through all the King Kong films. But that's a discussion for another day. I still need to buy them. Mm. Uh, right, yes. Godzilla. Minus one. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, this is a, a great film. Uh, I think pretty much everyone is consensus. Like, you yeah, know, this is great. It almost... It almost feels like it was like kind of a recreation of Godzilla, like the original Godzilla in some ways, but then updating it, but not re I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm like, it is kind of like a retelling of Godzilla, but bringing back, obviously, the nuclear aspect of it, bringing back, like, the actual kind of horror aspect to Godzilla that we haven't quite seen in a while. Like, and it feels like properly dealing with war, which is, you know, kind of what Godzilla was about. So, yeah. Honestly, I think this is uh, one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. So, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'll wait. No. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend it. Go watch it now. That's, that's basically my review. Um, if you have seen it... Ho oh ho boy! Fucking film. Like, There's been very few times where I'm like, Oh, I actually care about the human characters in a Godzilla film. That's impressive. You've done you've done a good job if you've made me care about the human, human characters in a Godzilla film. Because uh, that's hard to do. Because most of the time you're sitting there going, Give me Godzilla. I like Godzilla now, please. Can I have Godzilla? And, uh... No? I mean, to be fair, they do give you Godzilla up from the front. So they're just like, here's Godzilla. Ah, okay, cool. Anyway, human dark drama. Uh, so, let's, let's start... Let's talk about the plot. So, it's dealing with... Well, the end of World War II. Uh, we have a Japanese pilot who's landed on island to... Get his, his plane repaired, except he hasn't, because he's, yeah, well, they consider a coward. He's, he's basically just not, not actually get, well, yeah, not actually, actually wants to fight, which is, yeah, understandable, especially since he's a kamikaze pilot. Yeah, not, yeah, not wanting to die, fair enough. We understand that, um, which I get. But then, basically, a Godzilla shows up. Um, the leader kind of goes, oh, don't shoot. And then one person goes, I'm going to shoot him. And uh, guess what? That lands badly for them. It's not a good idea to try and shoot Godzilla when he is giant. Now, he's not as giant as he normally is. Uh, because this is before the, the two bombs were drop on, dropped on Japan. Um, so Godzilla is definitely... Considering these, yeah, super powered by the bombs. Normally, it's like they talk about the test, but this is actually the actual bombs that are dropped on Japan. Because um, it's what, yeah, 1945. Uh, let me pull up the Wikipedia page. And 1945. And yeah, this guy survives because it's not as big as he is. And uh, this guy then re returns to Japan to find. Uh, well, it's a little fucked, because a war happened. A war happened, and he finds a uh, basically makes friends with a with a woman who is just basically taking care of a child. Um, but not even her child; it's just a child that's crying. It's like fair enough. That's pretty noble. 
And, uh, yeah, this guy kind of just tries to make a living by, you know, blowing up mines. And, uh, unfortunately, he then gets thrust into this whole thing about, you know, stopping Godzilla. Because Godzilla's back, baby! Godzilla's back! He's back to attack! We've got to stop Godzilla! Godzilla is back! We've got to stop him! And yeah, it deals with these all these characters trying to basically figure out how the fuck you stop Godzilla. Because Godzilla is a bit of a destructive force. As we all know. We've watched the other Godzilla films. Um, but I, again, I feel like this is definitely trying to go back to classic Godzilla, in a way. Where it's, it's not a remake of the original film, but like a... Like, it's definitely spiritually a remake, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like it has the essence of the original, but does is not doing the original story. Which I like. And it's, yeah, people banding together to basically stop Godzilla. I mean, it doesn't quite deal with the fact that it's like... Japan's not really supposed to have a military at this point. I'm pretty sure their whole military has been disarmed. So I feel like there should be a few more Americans around. I'm just like, mm, I'm pretty sure American, there was a lot of American bases. So the Japanese all of a sudden started taking aboard boats and was like, yeah, we're going to stop this. You're like, mm. just look at the Wikipedia page. Did they discuss that? Uh, and maybe the thing I missed, I was, I, was, I was having a few drinks during this. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm like, hmm. And I, li I like the fact that the guy has to go back to um, one of the people from the start of the film who uh, was there to... Um, he was one of the repair guys. He was like, oh, we need to repair this plane. I, I know a guy, basically. And I like that I like that coming back and he's just like, no, fuck you. You're a dick. Go fuck yourself. I think that's, uh, honestly, I think this might be one of my best Godzilla, it's easily top 10 Godzilla films. I'm going to have to do a ranking at some point, maybe after I've watched Godzilla, uh, Kong. I do want to do a ranking. But, uh, yeah. Love it. It looks amazing. There wasn't a moment where I was like, ooh, you know, you always get in, like, sometimes CGI films, you're like, oh, that's kind of, ooh. That's obviously, yeah, we start seeing the feathering of, like, around people's hairs. I feel like it's... I don't know what it is. More modern films have just been, like, done really dodgy CGI. I don't know if it's a modern thing or it's just... There's a new way of doing things that just seems a little bit more dodgy. Um, There is apparently a black and white version of this film, which I definitely want to check out. Uh... I feel like Net Netflix having the rights to this might stop this film from coming out Blu-ray for a bit, which is gonna be annoying. Ah, because there's still the fr like three. Even though I don't like the films, I still want those three like uh, CGI films on Blu-ray. So like, even though I don't like them, I'm just like, mm -hmm. hopefully this film comes out Blu-ray soon because I need a physical copy. I need. I want to watch it again. I mean, I can watch it on Netflix, but still, you know. I just want to own it. I want to watch this again. I might watch this again at some point with some friends. Well, we're, we're putting on. If you haven't seen God's Miller Minus One, what the fuck are you doing? Like, seriously? I just spoiled the whole thing. If you have seen it, go watch it again. Basically, anyone, go watch God's Miller. Whether you've seen it five times, whether you've seen it ten times, whether you've seen it no times. Fucking watch the film. I think we should always encourage more films like this. Yeah. Good films. I'm very much... I am happy with it. And, uh... Yeah, I hope I hope this is the start of... Because I know, I know they, they talked about doing, wanting to do a universe. I don't know how that's going to... How, how it's planned. If they planned it that way or not. Yeah, if they planned to f for more sequels. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully. We get more Godzilla. But for now I say, live long, 
and prosper. Bye for now.